In this video we're going to make a crystal point pendant. It has the three top drilled crystal points on a wire wrapped bar. You can make this design straight like a standard bar necklace or you can curve the wire a little bit to sort of make your points fan out. It will sit nice on your chest either way but I really like the curved sort of fan shape so that's what I'm making today. For my design today I've got these three top drilled appetite crystal points. I've got one bigger one that's about 3.5 centimeters long and then the two smaller ones for each side are about 2.5 centimeters. I've also got four little pointed spacer beads there to sit in between the crystal points. The spacer beads just help the points to sit really nicely in your design there. For our design today we need six inches of our 20 gauge dead soft silver wire. So I just measure and cut that out and then we can start to make our bale. Leaving about a centimetre straight at the end for a tail there. Then we're going to start to wrap the wire around our round nose pliers. Gently bringing that around and wrapping two full loops. That makes a nice strong bale. Then with this tail that you left straight at the end, we're just going to bring that around this other wire a couple of times. Nice and tight and tidy. Then we can crimp it down nice and tight so there's no sharp pieces sticking out. There's our nice little double looped bail on that side. We can straighten it up with our pliers, just make sure it's sitting nicely and how you like it. Then we've got our nice straight bar here so we're going to pop our beads and crystal points onto it. I start with a spacer bead and then pop one of the smaller double points on there, then another spacer bead, the longer crystal point, then you've got one more spacer bead, final crystal point, and then the last spacer bead on the end there. You could put any design on here that you like as well with beads or points. Now we're going to pop the other loops or bale on this end as well. So I just start by bending the wire directly downwards. Then just off the end of the bead there, we're just going to grab it with our round nose pliers and bring the wire around so that our little loop is going to sit in the center there. And we again want two loops around for a nice strong bale. So you just adjust your pliers so that you can bring the wire right around for two full loops. And then we're going to wrap this little tail around between the bale and the beads. Wrapping that around a couple of times, making sure it's nice and tight and tidy as well. And then you can snip this little tail off and crimp it in nice and tight. Now with your pliers you can just check that all your loops are nice and straight and rounded and that your design is sitting how you like it. It's up to you if you want to keep it straight or now's the time you can bend it into shape if you'd like it to be more curved pendant. Then you can pop a jump ring on each side and pop a chain on. Such a simple design. There's your crystal point pendant with your three top drilled crystals.